So here we have a Seagate Backup Plus, three and a half inch uh, uh, chassis, uh, and I'm going to disassemble it because the uh, disc is uh, not responsive, and I want to uh, pull it out and see if it's actually the disc that's not responsive, or if it's the uh, circuit board at the end here. So to pull this apart, um, you can see there are no screws, there's nothing on this. Normally there are screws to take off, often they're underneath the legs, uh, things like that, but there's nothing here, so you can see so we just have to get this plastic separated. I'm going to use a screwdriver for this now. Uh, I don't particularly care if I mangle this one, but uh, if you do, try to use something plastic like a like a card or you know whatever. Uh, in my case, though, I'm just going to let this thing have it. Okay, so I'm just going to do this with the screwdriver now. See if I can get this to pop out, starting from one of these corners. You can see it does want to pop. There we go. Ah, there we go. And just keep working it around. Working it around. Come on. Okay. If you don't want to do as much damage, use a plastic card. Uh, like this one, just a, you know, any sort of old credit card will do. Um, let's see if we can just pry that out now. I probably can. I can. There we go. And you can see it's just clipped in, so not a big deal. Okay. So now this should, um, you'll see that there are some rubber bumpers around the edges. I'm just going to pop this out. Yep, just slides out. There we go. Uh, as usual, there's these little rubber bumpers I was talking about. That's usually where the screws are hidden, and shocker, that's where they are again. So let's take those off. So, in this case, it's a uh, Phillips head, so I'm just going to pop these out to get this thing out of the metal container. There we go. Metal rack that it's in. So I can get the disc completely out of the chassis. I'm hoping against hope that in this particular case the disc itself is fine whoops <laughs> I'm hoping that the disc is fine and that it's simply the circuit board that turns us into an external that's defective boy that one is very tight and I have the wrong size screwdriver there we go good okay there we go so then this should just slide out and it does and you want to pull it back so you don't break you don't break the connector here with the connector there. So as I said, I'm hoping this is defective. And that's it. Now I could put any other disc in this and simply reassemble it. Not very challenging. Um, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca.